Today on 3D Outdoors, we're going to be talking about Lindy Rigging Basics right after this. And the Lindy Rig, created by Ron and Al Linder in 1968, and hence the name Lindy Rig, the Linders, and their Lindy Fishing Tackle Company, which they later sold when they created the In Fisherman Television series. A main staple for them was the Lindy Fishing Rig, and I will show you the sinker here. It is a walking sinker. We'll get a better view here with the GoPro up close. And you can see the shape of that sinker with the flat bottom here would lend itself to walking across the bottom. So as you can see, it's hanging on the line here and bouncing across the bottom as it goes. Now the idea behind it is you can have the bail open on the spinning reel and have the string hanging on your finger. And then when you feel a fish pull, you can let that line go. And, and then the sinker basically stays in place and it feeds the line through and the fish does not feel resistance. So they can take that minnow in easier. That's very handy when you are in a neutral to negative situation, a non-aggressive type situation, where the fish really do not want to aggressively attack it. And the video that you're watching within the picture that's probably up here right now is of situations of neutral or negative type situations. Chad and I were out, we we're in the middle of what I would call the spawn period. The fish were very negative. A lot of people were using jig and minnow. Very slow presentations. The Lindy rig works very well in this situation because not only can you slow down the presentation, get the bait down to the bottom where the fish probably are at this point in time, but with a jig, you might have the weight of that jig or whatnot that the fish can feel. With this, you simply have that string resting on your finger with the bail open. When you feel them pull, you can just let the line go and then the line will simply feed through the sinker and they won't even know that you're there. And that's a big benefit. They can, you're feeding the fish, so to speak, so they can take that in without any obstruction. And it works great. And the next set of videos that are going to be rolling in are of a fishing trip that Dave and I took, and it's just post-spawn. It's a couple weeks later. I would call it post-spawn. We did catch a female that still had eggs in it, so there are still some fish spawning, but pretty much post-spawn. Same type of situation. A lot of people using jig and minnow. We came in with some bottom bouncers and then the Lindy rig, and we caught most of our fish using the Lindy rig. Slowed down the presentation, 0.2 miles an hour or less in most cases, and then fed the fish. Now, with the advancements, originally the Lindy rig basically consisted of this Lindy weight, which we've taken a look at, come in different weight sizes, has the flat side right along the bottom. So obviously you put the orientation on the line in this direction so that it skips along the bottom. And you basically had a plain hook, or in this case, a red hook trailing with a minnow. Now over the years, lots of variations have come along for the Lindy rig. You don't just have the bare hook anymore. Obviously we have colored hooks now, like the red hooks we have here, the Cheritus oranges, any color of the rainbow or a plain hook. If you don't want any color at all, you can put beads in front of it. I have a bead up in the front here to stop the sinker, but that can be an attractant as well. Normally you would think of this as being a minnow presentation. There's some that have double hooks on them now, so you could probably have a creek chub with a, a front hook on the lips and maybe a hook through the back so that you, if they're trailing, you'll get that bite in the back and the hook up, or even a crawler presentation along the bottom where you have a double hook where you have a crawler hook up. There's some with floats, little spinners, all kinds of variations. And there's one that I do that I actually prefer over the standard Lindy weight, and that is 
The bullet sinker, you can see there, that rides even closer to the bottom. Now, can you get snagged on that? Yes, but this design and this shape really lends itself to skip around and move around items. So I actually prefer the bullet weights and I use those a lot. I rigged up this rod right here for Dave, explained to him how to use it, how to set it. Obviously you drop it down till it hits the bottom and then you just drag it along. Now, can you have it straight down? Yes, if your current situations or you have enough weight to bring it straight down beside the boat, you can and that weight will go right down to the bottom and then hang along the bottom and the bait behind it. Or you can drag it out beside the boat or you can drag it further behind the boat. And when I say behind the boat, there's several different ways you can do this. You see some people back trolling with Lindy rigs. You see some people forward trolling with Lindy rigs, which what we were doing. You can drift with Lindy rigs, any combination but Dave was able to master it within a very short amount of time and start putting fish in the boat, which is awesome. So that's just another testament to how great this fishing technique is that it catches fish and it's easy to learn. So there you go. There are the basics of the Lindy rig. One of my go-to ways to catch fish, I think a lot of other people's go-to as well. This is Dan with 3D Outdoors reminding you to get into the outdoors and enjoy everything it has to offer. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom. See you next time.